Shut that, and then they can go out or go in that trap. Yeah. You know, <laughs> hey, Fifi. Hey, Viona. Hey, Viona. Welcome back to Cross Timbers Bison. We're at the OG guys where it all started for us. Take a look at this. I know it's been a while. You got the original squeeze chute, manual squeeze chute. Two holding pins right here with sliding gates the tub that we added several years ago and then just everything else that makes it work for us right here is where we started dunbar peaches eleanor bell star all those original animals started right here at this little spot and it's changed so many times but we've got it <laughs> to where we like it but um got mike here colorado mike good friend of ours is uh still here with us hanging out we're gonna work some bison with him Kevin, Marissa, we haven't made it over here to work these yearlings yet. We got some yearlings. Last year's calves, which were kind of coming yearlings, and then yearlings that were late born are coming two-year-olds. And then we've got some of our bulls uh, over here that are part of our feed program that you don't see very much, but uh, we still wormer them according to uh, their weight. Um, and before, it all depends on if they have a kill date or not, but obviously you can't worm them during... Uh, within 45 or 60 days of them going to a, have, they have a processing date, all that side that uh, you just never see this side. And I've had a lot of people ask questions about it um, and about your processing side and your meat side, jerky, snack sticks. Where does all that come from? A lot of it comes from here. Some of it comes from the Ponderosa, but a lot of them are over here. And uh, these animals are taken care of daily by Kevin. He wakes up and can look out his door and see them and take care of them. But he spends a lot of time here. And uh, morning, evening, after he comes home from work, whatever, he's taking care of the bison here for us. And then we primarily do everything at the Ponderosa, and he kind of takes care of everything here. So very thankful for Kevin as well. You guys like watching the action. If you've ever seen the Berlinic system that Doc brings down at the Ponderosa, it's, uh, it's fast-paced, but it's hydraulic and not as many moving parts as far as us actually doing the work. But it gets loud um, here under this barn. A lot of moving parts when you're running the manual squeeze chute. I know you guys, I'm sure you miss it. I don't, <laughs> but hey, old school, works great. Let's get after it. Take some, oh, take some if you can. Open the, open the. There you go. Get it, yeah. They're both in there. Okay, do we need to push that one back? What's his number? Or her number? Seven. Seven forty four. Right, She's turned around. We probably need to run them all back out and spin them. He, this guy in the front is backwards. He spun, so we need to. No, 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 no. There we go. My bad. It's all good. Easy. This one's gonna get hooked. Ouch. 
Yo, get out of the way. Shoot, 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 shoot. Tap that one over in the... Not, oh! Go. Okay, here's one. See if we can get him. Go, shoot. Keep going. Woo. Well, we need it. well, we'll use it when we need it. And if we don't, okay. Do we want to? We no. don't like the hot shot, but if you don't use it in some of those cases, just so some of you that don't like a hot shot, if we don't get them moving, other animals get hurt. Okay. He's already good. He's coming out. You got him caught. Are mine got caught? They're in that trap, yes. I told you he'd come up there. He's too interested. <laughs> yeah, 232. Cross timber. Yeah, heifer. She's going to go out. Watch out. Yes, yes. Come on. One, two, three. Bull. Oh, well. He said it was a heifer. I, did, I thought it was. Is it? Well, the tag's maybe in the wrong year, Kevin. So it's a bull. So it's one of our bulls. What was her number? One forty. But she's uh how much she weigh? Eight forty four? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Eight forty four? Eight forty four? Mm-hmm. Yeah, she put on some weight. She And then we can get our tub back. So we got 560. 560 and then it's a Bobby Andrews bull. So okay, when I do this one, so let the next one in. So make sure you shut this. And then I'll catch the head, and then you pull. So gotcha. one, two, three. Gotcha. One, two, three. One, two, three. Whew. Yeah. Oh, well, it needs to be. It needs to be. It needs to be. Uh, we'll have to be. It needs to be out for it. The hinges need to be out for it. Yeah. Mike, this is no break. Great. I, I have it all. You got it. Something caught, Kevin. What? I don't have him all the way. There it goes.
gotta do it faster. Oh. Oh. Dang, Dusty. Got it. There you go. Yeah. Oh, get it, Mike. Boom. The vent, the vent doesn't let me do that. Stresses me out. I don't like it. Great, babe. Marissa, how do you think the uh, production meatballs look? I think they look good. Yeah, they 
Yeah. Some of those weights surprise you. Yeah, they yeah. did actually. You have a couple a couple studs in there for sure, and you have a couple ones that are a little bit smaller, but they look like they'd be pretty good animals. You can still pack a punch. Uh, for sure. Those bulls only get worked once a year, really. Can be twice a year. You really don't. I mean, if they're fleshy and stuff, you can kind of get by. Let them go. Let them go. But if you some warm them. Some of that last bunch hadn't lost their hair yet, though. Yeah. So They will. They yeah. shouldn't. Next. They looked good, but they needed maybe a... Catching Kevin. Oh! Oh, pulled back. Gonna let him eat some of that rye. <clears throat> Look at all that rye. All right, that's it. We got them worked. Some meat animals that you guys never see. We don't show them really that often, but we've had people ask about our meat animals. And uh, so those are... 80% of the ones that we just ran through here, which are mostly bulls. There are two to three year old bulls. So if you guys don't know, um, two to three year old bulls is the prime time to um, process bison. In our world, 1,000, 1,100 pounds, 1,200 pounds. That's what we do. I don't know what you do in Colorado, but yeah, about 1,000, 1,100 pounds. Something like that. But anyways, Mike's down here hanging out with us. It's humid. Yeah, I'm, I'm, starting, I'm starting to feel it now. A little more humid than Colorado the, anymore. I'll tell than you. Colorado. <laughs> I get it. Appreciate the help. Thanks, Absolutely. Honey. Thanks, Marissa. Got her sweat on. Glisten. I'm sorry. Mike, what do you think? How'd it go? Oh, uh, it went awesome. It's just good, a pro good productive day. Just another day of bison ranching. <laughs> bison ranching at its finest. <laughs> yeah, you never know when you go with us and Kevin. And you never know what you're going to get into. A dinner and a show. I love it. <laughs> for sure. For sure. All right, guys. Thanks for being with us. Thanks for watching us today. See you guys next time. Keep on bison ranching.